everyone, it's Vicky from Minerva. Today we are launching a brand new fabric in the Minerva exclusive fabric collection. So we've been working on this fabric for a little while behind the scenes and we are so excited to launch it. The fabric, this fabric we're launching is actually now the eighth base cloth in the Minerva exclusive collection. So we're really growing in you know, a fantastic range of base cloths in our own exclusive fabric collections now. So you have lots of different uh, types of fabric to choose from. And the fabric we are launching this month is our amazing reversible pre-quilted coating fabric. So this is the fabric here. And as you can see, like if I, I'll just hold this piece out. So as you can see, I will hopefully be able to see that on camera actually, it's actually pre-quilted. So the fabric has two layers, well three layers, two outer layers and then the inner wadding. So on one side we have a plain cotton sateen fabric and on the other side we have a printed cotton sateen that is one of our Minerva exclusive prints. So we have well, there's 10 fabrics that we're launching in this range and with all of the prints we've chosen we've picked a really beautiful coordinating colour to match the, uh, the print of the fabric. So you know you basically this fabric is completely reversible and you can choose which side to use. So, I mean, quilted fabrics are so on trend, I think, at the moment. There's some amazing things that you can make in this type of fabric. And just to be able to have them in prints like this, we thought was really, really special. But also having the ability to use the plain side as well as the right side, it just gives you so many different options. So in today's video, what I wanted to chat through was to introduce the base cloth to you and you know go through all the details about the fabric, which I'll go through shortly. I'll show you the 10 different, ba uh, 10 different prints that we're launching in this collection. I've also got a huge stack of pattern suggestions to give you loads of ideas on what you can make with pre-quilted fabrics. And I actually have four sample garments to be able to show you as well of things that we've made up in this fabric. Just again, you know, to give you lots of ideas and just so you can actually see this fabric, you know, made up into something as well. So I think that's, you know, it's always really inspiring, isn't it? So let's get on to the stats of the fabric itself. So I've got a list of things that a list of notes I want to chat through with you just to remind me to, to mention everything. So with this fabric, like I say, it's made of three different layers. So we have a top layer, a middle layer and the bottom layer. But there is no right and wrong side. So the, the, the two outer layers are both made from 100% cotton sateen fabric. Now, if you've worked with it, it's exactly the same as the cotton sateen that we have in the Minerva exclusive range. So you can actually buy, you know, just the top layer of fabric on its own. And that's suitable for, you know, all different types of garments. But we thought the cotton sateen would be perfect to quilt with to be able to make, you know, an outerwear type fabric which is what we're launching today. So the two outer layers, like I said, they're 100% cotton and they're our cotton sateen fabric, which is not a satin, it's not a shiny finish at all. It just has a really soft, lustrous finish and the sateen is the, as a sateen weave, which just gives it a real, it's a really high quality cotton. Um, the, the wadding in the middle, so that is 100% polyester and that is what gives the fabric its sort of quilted, puffy kind of texture. And the, the actual quilting itself is uh, we chose to do a diagonal pattern because we just, I don't know if there's something about that pattern, we tried lots of different stitch types on our prints and by, you know, everyone that, that um, sort of voted here at Minerva, we all decided to go for the diamond because we just thought that looked the best. And it's a really nice scale and size of diamond as well. Yeah, really, really lovely. So the idea with this fabric is we, we the, the the fabric that we've used on the reverse side, the plain cotton sateen, is just the same quality as the fabric on the printed version. It's just that the plain ones have been dyed, um, whereas the, the patterned ones are printed. That's really the only difference. 
So the quality of the fabric on either side is just the same, um, which means there is technically no right and wrong side. Um, you know, you can use this fabric which, whichever way that you want to. So if you were making a jacket or a coat, for example, you know, you could choose to have the plain as the outer of the garment if you want something a little bit more subtle and understated, but then you would have the inside, you know, as a real sort of show-stopping wow lining to the garment. Or of course, you can use the outside of the garment to have a really, you know, amazing designer looking statement piece with the print on the outside. And that will give you the coordinating plane on the inside. So yeah, there's, there's so many ways in which you can use this fabric. Um, so with it having three layers, it obviously means that this fabric, you know, it has really good insulation sort of uh, properties that are going to help to keep you warm when it's a little bit cooler. Um, and, you know, it's, I, I, I see it as what, you know, if you made a jacket or a coat out of this sort of fabric, it's the sort of thing that, yes, you know, you could wear through winter, but it is a really good layering sort of like transitional season piece as well. So definitely through the autumn and the spring, I think this would be a really good layer to put on. Um, you know, it's not going to be as warm as, say, like if you made like a pure wool coat or something like that. Um, but it definitely, you know, because of that, the wadding and those three layers, you know, it's definitely going to be a warm and cosy jacket, but it's going to, it's going to work through the seasons but and hopefully be a really um you know sort of wearable piece in your wardrobe um so some of the stats on the fabric so it's 365 grams per square meter and obviously that's the three layers of fabric added together so it does actually fall into our heavyweight category on minerva but when you feel the fabric, when you get this in the flesh at home, you know, you'll see what I mean, that for, for quite a thick fabric, a relatively thick fabric, it doesn't actually feel that heavy. Um, but it's just when you add the three layers together, it actually does add up to about 365 GSM. So it does fall into our heavyweight category. But, you know, I wouldn't be too worried about working with, um, you know, with it as a heavy fabric because it, it really, you know, when you squash the sort of the wadding down, it, it doesn't feel as, as sort of heavy as maybe that GSM would lead you to believe. Um, when you sew in this fabric, we would recommend a slightly thicker needle just because it's a heavy fabric, but just a standard universal needle is absolutely fine. Now with, um, so in terms of where this fabric is made, so the, the printing of the cotton sateen and the dyeing of the plain cotton sateen are all made in India and India are just... You, the quality of cottons that come from India are just absolutely fabulous. It's why we chose India for the printing of our cotton um, sateen fabrics. And it's why we've gone, you know, we've gone back to using this fabric for this and, um, you know, the coordinating planes as well, because the quality is just absolutely amazing. And the cottons are all um, Ecotex certified as well. Now, in terms of washing this fabric, it's absolutely, the, the, the um, manufacturer's washing instructions are to wash at 30 degrees um, and we have tested it at 40 degrees and you know in a tumble dry and it's absolutely fine you know but to, to prolong the life of the fabric to its absolute maximum we would recommend a 30 degree wash and just air dry in it um, but yeah if you you know practically if you want to be able to put in the tumble dryer as well you know you can do that we just always recommend to test a sample you know if you're going to change from the manufacturer's instructions and because it's cotton as well I'd allow you know allow for five percent shrinkage but we have found very little shrinkage in this in this fabric at all um, so in terms of what you can make with this fabric there's actually quite a lot of things you can make I mean the first things that come to mind are obviously coats and jackets with this being an outerwear type fabric but you can also make things like cozy waistcoats uh, gilets you can even make skirts things like bags cushions and home accessories so there's lots of things you can make and I will come on to that you know with the um, pattern suggestions that I've got um, and in terms of you know sewing this fabric it I think it's one of those fabrics that you know, I mean, it's obviously more tricky to sew than if you were just sewing with, you know, a regular cotton fabric. So, you know, it is, it's a little, you know, you, there are things to take into account when you're sewing with it. But because, you know, when you actually hold the three layers in your hand, and if you squash that down between your fingers, it actually, you know, once it's squashed down, it's not then too thick. So I don't think you need to worry too much about, you know, the bulkiness going through your machine. You would just, you know, sew with it a little bit, you know, a little bit more slowly. 
And because the outer layers are actually made from a pure cotton fabric, it does mean that it's easier to sew than some other quilting, uh, quilted fabrics because, um, you know, because the outer fabrics themselves are a relatively stable, you know, easy to sew fabric in themselves. Um, but a lot of the patterns that I've chosen as well, they are designed for quilted fabrics. So, you know, that means in terms of like binding the edges and things like that, um, you know, that's already kind of worked into the pattern for you to follow from those instructions. So the other thing I wanted to mention as well, so as I said, the, the, the patterned layer in this fabric is the same as our cotton sateen fabric that we launched, um, it was earlier this year now. And the planes we've had, you know, um, custom made to match the, you know, the, the temperance that we're launching. So we actually have both those fabrics, the top and the bottom layer, available singly on their own, which I have stacked up here to show you. So for example, if I find the same one as this here, here we are. So this fabric is called our Brushstroke Blooms um, pre-quilted reversible coating fabric. But you can also get the Brushstroke Blooms cotton sateen fabric that as you can see that's literally just the single layer that makes up the top of this fabric. So we have that for sale as well on its own and we also have the plain cotton sateen fabric again just that single layer and that's what make that's what the bottom of this fabric is made from. So you can buy either fabric just on its own and what that means is it gives you so much um, potential for different sorts of things when you come into sewing. So for example, if you were say making a jacket out of this and you wanted to bind the edges, rather than trying to find an exact match in a pre-made bias binding, which, you know, let's face it, on some of these colours, you know, the more unusual colours, that's gonna be quite difficult to find an exact match, if not impossible. So what you could do with this is with either of the fabrics, you can, you know, your choice, you can actually make your own bias binding out of these that will then, of course, absolutely match perfectly with your um, outer fabric. It also means things like if you, for example, if you wanted to add like an internal pocket inside a jacket um, or you know, anything like that, rather than having to do it, you know, in a fabric like this or trying to find something that matches, again, you could choose either or of these and, and make a pocket or, you know, any kind of detail really in just a single layer of the fabric to, you know, insert in the side of the jacket or, you know, any kind of sort of decoration pieces. You know, you might want to add patch pockets to the outside, but maybe you want to do it in a plain fabric rather than adding it in the pre-quilted, all sorts of things that you can do. So yeah, just having those fabrics available separately, it just gives you so many opportunities to be able to, you know, create, um, you know, different styles of garment, do different details on, on different garments. You've, you've so much, you know, endless opportunity there to use, to, to work with the three together. So let's have a look through the 10 designs next, because that's always the exciting part, isn't it? So like I said, first up, we've got Brushstroke Blooms which is such, it's such a beautiful print, this one. It's a really sort of abstract, floral come foliage kind of print, lots of greens in there. And the, in the print, you can really see the brush strokes from the original artist, the original painting that went into create, you know, this repeat design for fabric. Um, yeah, it's just a stunning print. And we decided to pick up the pink that was that's in the print on the reverse and it just it just complements that fabric absolutely beautifully we think that goes so nicely and just a little bit different working the pink with it there so the next print we've got this is our forever popular one of our best selling prints in the collection this one is bubble lights a really colorful joyful kind of print I think this one's absolutely gorgeous. And in this one, when you look at the print, like there's lots and lots of colors and lots of layers in there, but the background colors it is like a deep navy blue and there is lots of blue in the print as well. So we decided to go for the coordinating navy blue, which again, it really sort of makes the print pop beautifully. Um, you can see that there and it just, 
you know, it just sets it off absolutely beautifully. And again, you know, you could create two completely different looks for this. Like if you went for the mate, you know, say you're making a jacket and you went for this for the outside and then the navy acted as the lining on the, on the inside, that would look amazing. Um, likewise, you know, if you could go for, you know, a navy jacket, which would just be a completely different look. And then to have that amazing um, lining on the inside that popped out. I think that would be absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, there's so many ways you can use these fabrics. And then just as a reminder, so in our plain cotton sateen and our um, printed cotton sateen, so again, we have both the fabrics available um, just as the outer layers as well. Um, and we will tag all these below the video as well. So if you want to find the matching fabrics, you can do. Next up, so I'm probably going to have to move these now, they're quite bulky fabrics. I'll put these down here. So the next fabric I've got, this one is called Secret Jungle. So this one is an entirely different colour palette. So this is the print and you can see it's a greeny turquoise um, background colour and it has all these shades of brown, taupe, like a golden rusty colour in all the leaves and the leaves then have these animal print designs worked in them so it's really unusual and then we've picked out one of the sort of like golden brown colours to coordinate and I, I just love that colour combination I mean, that's it's quite different to any of the other ones we've got in the collection and yeah, just think if you love browns, which are really sort of on trend now, like the colour's really coming back, isn't it? Um, it? Seems to be everywhere at the moment. Then yeah, I think that's a really, a really cool on trend print. And again, we have both the, you know, the plain cotton sateen to coordinate, but well, sorry, the printed cotton sateen to coordinate, and then the plain one as well, which matches. Next up, we have Jungle Dreamer. So this is again another one of our, what I think of as like our iconic prints in the Minerva exclusive range. It's such a popular print this one and I think it looks amazing as the pre-quilted fabric. I think if you look like a fun design or something for children or teenagers as well I think this would be lovely. Um, but yeah all those gorgeous animals in there with all the foliage and flowers and little details. It's really lovely. Now in terms of the colour we've picked out for this one so the background colour is a, a a relatively light navy blue, but then it has in the worked into the print all over this really dark navy blue, which really sets it off. So we went for that colour on the background, which again really makes the print pop, and it just works with it so well in picking out that darker colour. And I think, we, I mean, looking at it, you can tell it's navy, but it is such a dark navy blue. It's a really, really gorgeous colour and yeah, it just really picks out those details in the fabric, I think, on that one. And then again with that one, so we have the printed regular cotton sateen to go with it and the plain um, dark, um, dark navy in the plain cotton sateen as well. Next up, we've got Inky Grove. This is one of my favourite prints. I love this design. I think it's the colours in this that just speak to me. So this is, um, it's a Spanish artist that we work with for lots of our designs. And isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? Right, so hold it out and then you can see, you can see more. Isn't that just beautiful? So the design on this one, it has a white background which makes it really fresh looking. I think this would be really lovely to like take into the spring months as well um, because of that sort of like freshness in the print. And then the design itself is made up of blues, hints of purple in there and hints of turquoise as well. It's like all these loads and loads of different shades of blue. So on the background what we've done is we've picked out, it's the more, it's a blue colour but it's verging on being purple. There's a hint of purple in there and it's such an unusual colour and it just works absolutely beautiful with the print. It works with all the shades of blue but it really helps to pick out that ever so slight purpley bluey tone that's in there. So yeah, it's really beautiful. Something I didn't mention as well with, with the quilted fabrics is the actual stitch, the like the little um, uh, diagonal 
like stitch lines that have, that have been stitched into them, the diamond shapes, the thread has actually been matched the colour top and bottom. So it, it on, on the, um, the plain side, um, you know, the thread matches. But again, on the reverse side as well, the thread has been picked specially to match with the fabric really well. So, you know, it's been really sort of considered in terms of, you know, how that stitching affects the overall prints because it, it does change it, you know, it does give it a different look. Um, but yeah, I think it's worked really, really well. And again, in this one, of course, we've got the plain, uh, well, the printed cotton sateen um, to match. And then also the plain um, dyed cotton sateen to match as well. So again, I'll just move these and then we can carry on looking through the rest of the prints. So the next uh, design we've got, so this is definitely a bold, um, yeah, really sort of graphic print. And this one is Babylon Art. How fabulous is this? Such a gorgeous print, another of my favourites. <laughs> a lot of my favourites actually have gone into this collection. So it's yes, yeah, you can see really, really graphic print, bright, bold, turquoise colours with this like a it's like a raspberry red, a pinky red sort of colour in there, and then the black, bold, very graphic lines. So with this one, we decided to go with black because wait, and you'll see when I fold that over, how my I just how amazing does that look? It's such a bold contrast, and it really picks up the graphic but black lines in the print. It looks absolutely fabulous. And again, I think with this one, you know, to make a jacket up that's in the plain black with just a pop of, you know, the lining showing every now and then would just be absolutely gorgeous. But a completely different look would be to make the jacket in the outer with the black as the lining. You know, you've just got two completely different looks from the one fabric, really. <laughs> and then, of course, with that one, as with all of them, we have the printed regular cotton sateen to match and then also the plain dyed cotton sateen to match as well. The next fabric we've got, so this one is called Petal Spray and this one is a quite a small scale floral print. Really, really pretty. How lovely is that? Now with this one, it's it's a, a, a really lovely dark floral print. So the background is black and then the colours in the print, there's a lot of candy pink, baby pink, hint of yellow, hint of turquoise, tiny, tiny little bit of green in there. And overall, it just creates a really lovely, um, almost like a ditzy floral, but maybe not quite so small scale as a ditzy. Uh, what I class as a ditzy print, but really, really gorgeous overall print. It's actually the one that this garment's been made up here in, but I'll show you those in closer detail a little bit further into this video. And then on the back, you can see we've picked out the candy pink. And how gorgeous does that look against that? It really, it because there's a lot of black in this print, it needed a, one of the brighter colours on the reverse to really sort of highlight it and make one of those colours pop. And we just think that works absolutely gorgeous there. And then again with that one, so we have the printed cotton sateen available to match as well. And we've got the pink plain dyed cotton sateen as well. Next up we've got, so this is, this is another absolute bestseller of a print here at Minerva on all the different base cloths that it comes in. And this is boudoir bouquet i know this is a lot of people's favorite prints and prints in our collection so we just had to put it on the pre-quilted fabric isn't that just absolutely gorgeous so it's it's a rich deep tealy petroly sort of color in the background which i love that color it's one of my favorites and then the floral print is quite subtle but you can hopefully see there you know it has shades of um, like a dual green, a, again, a, a lighter sort of petroly colour, um, a darker, almost like a navy, and then this hint of magenta pink running through the design. Really, I think it's one of those fabrics as well that the, the quilting detail really sort of highlights the print and really makes it, it sort of stand out and pop, really. And then, so the back of this design, we, at first, if I'm honest, we were going to go with a teal colour. Um, and you know we stuck with that for quite a while and then it was somebody in the team at the Minerva that said what about if we just you know try the magenta pink 
We tried that and all of us absolutely fell in love with the combination. So we decided to go with magenta pink. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I just think it is the most gorgeous combination. The magenta, it's a rich, deep colour. And it really matches, you know, the, it picks out the, the shade of the magenta in the print so well. And it just, it just makes it pop and bring it to, brings it to life. It's such a, it's such an, an unusual but stunning combination. I think, I think that's one to work so well. I love it. And then with that one, again, so we've got um, the, the regular cotton sateen printed to match. And then also the plain cotton sateen to match as well, as with all of them. Next up, so we've only two more prints left now. We're nearly there. So the next one we have is our Animal Glow print. Another what I think of as like an iconic print in the Minerva collection. Isn't that absolutely amazing on, on the quilted fabric? It's just gorgeous. So it's this rich, almost like a royal, but a deep royal blue background with an animal print on the surface that's in shades of black with a really bright pop of pink. It's such, it's definitely a louder print is this one, but it's just amazing. One of the samples we've got, I've got coming up to show you is in this as well, and it just looks gorgeous. And then the reverse on this one, we went with the pink to bring out the pink in that pattern. Um, it, when we tried blues and blacks, they looked lovely but the pink was just another level. It just looked amazing. So we decided to go with that. And yeah, again, it's, again, if you went for, you know, a pink, a pink um, coat that had, you know, the blue just, uh, well, the print popping through as the lining, I think that'd be amazing. Or, you know, to go with this as the outer with the pink popping through. Oh, it's just the, either way would look absolutely stunning and really sort of eye-catching in that design, I think. And then again, we've got the, you know, the regular printed cotton sateen in that fabric and the matching plain dyed one as well. And then the last print we've got in the collection. So this is a really pretty fabric, really pretty design. This one's called Wildflower Fusion. There we are. And this, if you love purples and lilacs, I think you'll love this one. As you can hopefully see on camera there, it's covered in such, uh, such a detailed, beautiful floral print. It's one of those that the more you look at it, the more you're seeing it every time. Just so many little intricate details. It's, it's so, so pretty. It's a gorgeous print. And then with this one, we went with a matching, you know, um, uh, lilac colour for the background which it's not as big of a contrast as some of the other prints but we just thought that worked really well with like the softness and prettiness of that print um, yeah it's just so so lovely really really pretty one again I think that will be a lovely one to wear wearing into spring as well and of course on that one we'll move those over on that one we've got the um, printed cotton sateen to match and also the plain dyed cotton sateen to match as well. So that's all the 10 options in the fabric. So next I've got a whole selection of patterns to share with you on things that you can make with pre-quilted fabrics. Um, you know, obviously you can, you know, for any of these patterns, you could make your own quilted fabrics as well. In theory, you could make your own, you know, from both of these, but having, you know, the pre-quilted fabric option there ready, you know, it's it's sewn beautifully neatly. And for the price, you know, it's, it is a more expensive fabric because at the end of the day, you have got three layers of fabric that go into every meter of fabric. So it's like buying three in one but you know the when you actually add up the price and what it would cost you for each of the three fabrics the quilting um cost itself is absolutely minimal um so you know you're kind of getting all the quilted part of it done for free for you um so yeah we thought it was even though it's a more expensive fabric it's still a very good value fabric and the quality is just amazing so yeah, all these patterns I've got to share with you. And I've got, like I said, I've got a huge stack. <laughs> Two huge stacks, in fact. So all these will be absolutely fantastic for, um, you know, for, for all these quilted fabrics. So let's run through them quickly or else this video will be very, very long. 
So first up, we have the Uma Court from Vicky Saws, and uh, this is shown, you know, in a um, in a padded, you know, quilted fabric. Obviously, the quilting on ours, with it being a smaller diamond, will give it a slightly different look. But you've got that huge sort of collar detail really big you know full length sleeves and that's definitely going to be something that keeps you warm during the colder months then we have and there's actually quite a few from vicky saws this time they really seem to have like took on the trend of puffer quilted um coats so the next one is the Ga a gale jacket from vicky saws and again this has a fabulous collar really big sleeves on this one beautiful pockets and then it has a tie belt as well that gives it a little bit of shaping so that's a really nice option Next up, we have another from Vicky Saws, whoops, and this is the Reggie Court. So this one is a longer length court. It has a hood, which I thought was a nice detail. Really beautiful pocket details, full length sleeves. Um, and it's, it's quite simple, really, but it also has that tie belt again, which helps cinch it in at the waist to give a little bit of shape if that's something that you like. Next up, we've got the ever classic, ever popular uh, Tamarack jacket from Grainline Studio. And that, that is actually what this sample is on the mannequin here that um, Joe made this sample actually. It's absolutely gorgeous. So you, with the Tamarack jacket, you have a couple of different options. Um, and with all of them, you know, they are bound um, edges, which you can see here, you know, we've used the matching um, cotton, plain cotton sateen fabric to create a bias binding that goes around the edge of the jacket and the edge of the pockets there as well. Um, so yeah, it's just, it just um, it's a nice example of how you can use, you know, the coordinating plain fabrics, um, you know, into your designs. So yeah, I think that one will probably be a really popular pattern for the quilted fabrics. Next up, we have Birda 5941. And this is a really lovely sort of classic jacket pattern, really, that comes in three different lengths. And on view C on the envelope, it actually shows that they've made it with, um, they've made it actually in, in two contrasting fabrics, but the bottom one is a pre-quilted fabric. So I think really, you know, you could, you could do that. You could contrast it with another fabric if you wanted, or you could just, you know, make the whole um, jacket up, the whole coat rather in, you know, in the, the pre-quilted fabric. You know, you could maybe even, that would be a nice idea, maybe do the top panel in like say the plain, and the bottom in the print that could be really cool and actually use it as like a color blocking um yeah to do some color blocking with and that you know that would be another way of utilizing both sides of the fabric in your garment for something truly unique next up we have the mccall's 7637 and this is a unisex pattern that um is for a bomber jacket there's a few different styles um and yeah, the, the sample A on the envelope of the pattern actually shows it made in a quilted fabric. And we've actually sewn this up in the animal glow print, which I'll show you soon from um, on the samples I'm gonna show you. And in a bomber jacket like this, it looks amazing. Really, really, really amazing. Next up we have, so this is another ever popular, really classic pattern that I think everyone thinks of when you think of a quilted coat pattern. And that is the Javier jacket and coat from Megan Nielsen. You've, I think it's one, two, yeah, six different options in this one pattern. So there's loads and loads of different choices, um, different lengths, different sort of band finishes, different pocket details, loads and loads of different choices for you to, you know, to create your quilted coat of dreams. Um, but yeah, it's designed specifically to be worked with quilted fabrics and yeah, that would just be an amazing one as well. Again, I think that will probably be another really popular one. Next up, I've got um, the Vicky Saws Cheryl jacket. Now this is a really big oversized jacket. So if you love that look, I think it works really well in a quilted fabric. And this is actually another one I've got um, a sample sewn up of to be able to show you very soon. Um, as we have the Javier as well, actually. Um, yeah, just a really quite simple style, you know, very simple round neckline, has a bound edge, nice pocket details in the front and then like a dropped sleeve um yeah but it's that kind of oversized fit that is like the standout on this garment next up so we have um from so different we have their biker jacket cardi so this is something a little bit different but i thought with the bound edge that this has it could make a really like a quite simple 
um, like a, a layering piece to wear that you know would be nice and snug and warm made in a, in a quilted fabric. So yeah, it's just, it's, you know, it's not like a full on sort of coat or anything like this, it more, would be more of a layering piece, but that could be a really lovely option. Um, then we have the Nurit coat, again from Vicky Saws, and this again is a, a longer length it's a proper big full on coat. If you want something that's gonna keep you warm and toasty, this is definitely a good option. And it actually has like, um, what looks like a detachable collar on it as well. So, you know, you, that just gives you different ways and different options to be able to wear it, doesn't it? But other than that, it's, it's quite a simple style um, that will really just show off, you know, the print of the fabric um, or the, you know, the texture and coziness of the fabric. I think that'd be lovely. Next up we have another bird of style pattern. So this is number 5869. And on this one you get um, a shorter length um, jacket that has a hood with detachable sleeves. And you also have a longer option as well that's without the hood and again can be without the sleeves. Now on the envelope you can see View A is actually made in a quilted fabric. Um, very similar actually, like a diamond print. Uh, it might be squares on that one actually, but it's quite similar to, to our collection. Um, so yeah, I think whether you're looking for like a jacket or um, like a waistcoat or a gilet, that would be a really lovely option. And if you go for without the sleeves and without the hood, it's quite a simple pattern that one. So I think that'd be a nice, um, easier sew. Then we have um, the Vinalel, I think I've, I hope I've pronounced that right, coat from Vicky Saws. And this is a, another fabulous coat pattern. So this has a really classic, beautiful collar detail. It has tabs around the cuffs, um, pockets with flaps on them, and a belt that draws it in at the waist. Really quite classic and uh, simple in some ways, but still with lots of beautiful details on there. And yeah, again, that'll be another brilliant option. Uh, next up we have the Simplicity 1499 and this is um, a gilet or waistcoat pattern. Um, it has four different options on the pattern, sorry, three different options on the pattern for the waistcoat itself. Um, and on the envelope itself you can actually see it being made up in um, what looks like, a, yeah, what is a quilted fabric. So with this you have different colour options, you have different fastening options from just a simple zip up or you can have like it zipping on, a, on an angle that then sort of um, um, sort of flaps out if you wear it open. Um, so yeah, just lots of options in there and a real classic for making it a pre quilted fabric. You also have like a little headband um, accessory in that pattern as well. And I think that would be really lovely to make in the pre quilted fabric as well. And then it could match your, you know, your garment. That'd be really nice. Next up we have a pattern, this is from Sussex Seamstress, and this is the Furl Jacket. And this is a hooded jacket with sort of like a three fasten, fasteners down the front, patch pockets, and quite a simple uh, raglan sleeve fit um, coat come jacket pattern. Um, yeah, I think that's just another really lovely style that would lend itself well to the quilted fabrics and look really nice. Um, the next pattern we have, so this is the wardrobe by me, um, the Ozark vest. And so this is, uh, it's a workwear inspired vest or uh, waistcoat pattern. Perfect for, you know, trans transitional weather, which I really think this fabric is really well suited to. Um, and yeah, to be able to make this in a pre quilted fabric, I think would work really well. It's got the zip detail down the front, um, patch pockets on the front as well, uh, sort of set at a lovely angle. Um, yeah, a real sort of classic vest, if that's what you're looking for. And the next pattern is from Saw Girl, and this is the Bibby Quilted Jacket. So absolutely designed, you know, for um, quilted fabrics, for that kind of, you know, sort of chunky look. It's got patch pockets on the front, a very simple neckline, and um, like a bias bound edge with button fasteners. Just quite a simple but classic um, pattern style for so with pre-quilted fabrics like this. Um, and then the last few patterns I've got are more um, well, we have a menswear jacket, I'll come to that next. And then we have some children's wear patterns and then also some like little accessories as well, which I thought would be nice to mention, just to, you know, just to show you some other things that you could make. 
So a fantastic menswear jacket pattern that I found was Simplicity 9190. And you can actually see one of the, the line drawings, line drawing A on the envelope is shown in a pre-quilted fabric. Um, I just think it would work so well with any of these. So um, you've two different options in the pattern. Um, they have um, flap sort of pockets at an angle, which sit really nicely. They have cuff and a waistband detail, and then like a, a rib sort of detail around the neckline as well, uh, with a zip fastening at the front. So quite a casual style. Uh, but again, another one I think would work really well in any of these fabrics. Then a couple of children's wear patterns. So we have Simplicity 9485, and this is an adorable um, little kids pattern. So this is this is designed for six months old to four years. So we're looking at younger children with this one. And it is option B or C that would be great for our quilted fabrics. And that is either for um, a little vest or waistcoat or a little jacket that has sleeves as well. And you'll see it has a little um, sort of bias bound edging. It has a little pocket detail that's bound at the top um, as well. Uh, and then, you know, the, the main difference really is that you've got a sleeve or a sleeveless option on that one. And as a bonus in that pattern, you also get a little t-shirt pattern, a skirt and some trousers as well. So a really good value on that one. And the next children's wear one we've got, so this is Simplicity 8027. And with this one specifically, it's um, views B and E that we're looking at for the pre-quilted fabric. So that is a jacket or again a waist, a, a vest or a waistcoat. Um, and they're both very different to each other actually. The jacket has a, a really lovely collar detail and it fastens, uh, sorry, fastens on like, a, like an asymmetrical line down the front of the jacket which is just a really lovely option and it looks great or just worn open as well. And then it, view E, which is the vest or the waistcoat. So that one has um, like a little stand up collar um, and it has patch pockets that are sort of on an angle at the front, a zip up, uh, a simple zip up fastening and obviously no sleeves. Um, yeah, and it has bias bound again, details around the edges, which is a great way to finish um, a fabric uh, like this. And this one covers ages three to 14. So we're looking at, you know, older children and just going into teenagers as well with that one. And, oh, and, and with this one as well, you do get a t-shirt pattern, a skirt and a leggings pattern included as well. So another really fantastic value one from Simplicity there. And then, so then I've got three different um, accessory patterns just to give you some extra ideas on things you could make and I think you know with this being it is a more expensive fabric like I say because it's, it's like buying three fabrics in one for every meter um so you know any scraps or smaller pieces that you've got left over I think if you can utilize those scraps you know and make them into something it just gives you extra value out of your fabric doesn't it um so the first one I've got is the Ronnie Hood from Vicky Saw's Patterns and this is it's it's a hood pattern that extends down into like a panel at the front and the back and the idea with it is that you can wear this as a layer under any other coat or jacket so any coat or jacket that you have that you know maybe you love wearing but it doesn't come with a hood and you kind of wish it did you can actually wear this accessory under the jacket or coat and it kind of creates like a hood from that pattern um, and of course you know you can just you can have real fun then kind of layering that with you know layering the accessory with um, you know with different coats and jackets that you have in your wardrobe and it would really change the look of them then so it might just you know give maybe something that's older in your wardrobe that maybe you don't you know you don't necessarily reach for that often might just give it a new lease of life and and be yeah and just sort of trans transform that garment really into something that you love again Next up, we've got Simplicity 9331, and this is an accessory pattern. So with this, you have, um, well, there's three different patterns included. So you've got some hot or cold shoulder wraps, as they're called. Um, so these kind of like sit around your shoulders and are a nice piece to sort of keep you warm. We also then have a mask as well. So you can use that as like a sleep mask at night if you struggle, you know, sleeping when it's bright um, or, you know, if there's any light in the room at all. <laughs> um, and then you also have a wrist wrap as well, which, yeah, it's just, again, some really nice ideas for using up those spare like little, little bits of scrap fabrics that you might have from, from this. 
And then the last pattern I've got to share with you. So this is Simplicity 9531. And this is a slipper boot um, pattern. So the age is, uh, well, sorry, the sizes that it covers with this are extra small and small, which are classed as children's sizes, and then medium, large and extra large, which are classed as adult sizes. So you've, you know, you can cover um, most people probably in your family with this one pattern. And I do think as well it would make fantastic gifts for people for birthdays or Christmas or whatever occasion. Um, and yeah, they're just a really lovely kind of like slipper boot. So you've you've three different options in the one pattern. They've all just got slightly different details to them. But I think any any of those three would make you know a really a really beautiful lovely quality slipper boot out of this sort of fabric and wouldn't it be really cool to you know have something that you know match something else that you've made and yeah I just think a really good gift idea as well for people with that one so that's all the patterns I had to share with you so hopefully that's giving you lots of ideas on things you can make with this fabric so I shall just move these to one side and lastly, so what I wanted to share with you are the, so we've made four different um, garment samples that I've got here today to be able to share with you from the pre-quilted fabrics. So the first one is this beautiful Javier jacket that is from um, uh, Megan Nielsen, uh, yeah, patterns. So let me just hold that out. So with this one, um, yeah, so it's made in our petal spray quilted cotton sateen um, and the fabric requirements on this you're looking at like between one uh, sorry about 1.6 meters for all sizes um yeah sorry it's the grit sorry not megan nielsen it's the grain line studio sorry this is the tamarack jacket so i'm getting mixed up with that one um yeah so roughly 1.6 meters so it's not a huge amount that you need for this this particular one um, and this is in our petal spray which you can see with the samples that we've made that we've got here to show you anyway they're all ones where we've used the pattern on the outside and then the plain fabric as the lining but like I say you know you can absolutely switch that round if you prefer something that's more subtle and understated but with a flash of something inside for a really cool lining uh, you can absolutely do that as well and you can see on this one you know around the binding the top of the pocket there um you know we've used the plain cotton sateen um which you know is is the same fabric as the inside so it matches absolutely perfectly but yeah that's looks really really well in that um in that pattern so the next one I've got, so the next one I'll show you is the heavier. <laughs> I was getting those two mixed up then. So this one we have made in um, the Boudoir Bouquet print. And you can see this is the shorter version uh, with the short little pockets there. But there are, I think it was six different versions on that pattern. So there's loads of different ones to choose from and some longer length ones as well. And you can see we've just kind of turned up the cuffs here, which I think that looks really nice. Um, when you're wearing it because it you know just gives you a little flash of that lining colour um, and likewise if you made it with um, you know with the, uh, the, the the plane on the outside and you wanted to turn it up like that you'd see a flash of the printed lining as well so yeah I think that's really lovely and again we've made the little tie and the little um, the the, by, the bound edge has been done in the plain matching uh, cotton sateen to match yeah I think that was just gorgeous in the boudoir bouquet Next we have, so this one is, so this is the McCall's uh, 7637 pattern and this is made in our um, animal glow print design. So um, you're looking at this one between about 1.5 and 1.6 metres roughly but obviously all the details are on your website with that. And this is the bomber jacket so doesn't that just look absolutely amazing. So we've used a plain black um, tubular ribbon fabric that we have on our site as well for the cuffs, for around the neckline and for around the hem as well and then we've also used an open-ended chunky zip which again we have available on Minerva um, for, the, for the fastening as well and yeah I just think that looks really really good in the animal glow and it just shows how well fabric works for a bomber style jacket I think it's not necessarily a style I would have you know that would have instantly come to mind with me for me but seeing it made up and uh, you know when we spotted the McCall's pattern we thought oh that's going to work really well and yeah it, it has done when we've sewn it up and again you can see with this one you know the inside of the jacket there that flash of pink 
really really lovely and then the fourth garment we've got so I'll just put that down so this is the Vicky Sews Cheryl um, coat Cheryl jacket and this is uh, you know it's a larger size that we've sewn but it is as well it is an oversized jacket or coat so it's really really lovely we've made this in the inky grove as you can see now with this one what's a little bit different now this does have a bound edging but we've actually bound it in the printed fabric so you can see with this you know we've still used one of the the non quilted fabrics that match but because we've done it in the printed fabric it doesn't create a contrast like say you know the the the, the other ones did where we've used the plain fabric to, to um as the binding so you can just see you know you can you can really choose how you want to personalise and make your jacket to make it your own and really make it unique to you as well. So yeah, I think that's really lovely. Again, you can see the plane on the inside, but there's absolutely nothing to stop you, you know, doing it the other way around. And like you can see here as well, the pocket detail on the inside here. Also, you can see, you can see that if I, maybe if I hold it up that way, you can see like the pocket shape there. So that has been done just in the plain um, cotton sateen, the, the, the dyed plain one. Um, and again, it just, you know, it doesn't then add bulk to the inside of your garment that way, but it still perfectly matches. So yeah, there's loads of things you can do with those, those coordinating fabrics that I shared with you throughout. And yeah, in that inky growth print, I just think that looks absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> So that's everything I wanted to share with you today. I think that was probably quite a long video, but hopefully that's been, you know, helpful and informative and, and give you lots of ideas and inspiration with what you can make with these amazing new fabrics. And um, we really hope you love the new collection as much as we do. It's been a labour of love, this fabric, um, sort of, you know, finding, you know, we always knew we wanted to use the cotton sateen that's already in the range as, as one of the layers, but, you know, having the the planes made you know to coordinate perfectly with them um, you know actually sort of bringing the three layers of fabric together and then having, having them quilted it's been a long long process to um to actually get this fabric into production and um you know and ensure that the quality is exactly what we'd want it to be and yeah the, the actual finished fabric it's absolutely beautiful we've all fallen in love with it we think it's something quite you know it's quite special you know you don't see fabrics like this every every five minutes you know they're definitely more unusual and um yeah i hope if you you know if you do decide to buy some from us and choose to sew with it you'll absolutely love it um we you know the samples we've made we just think they're absolutely beautiful and you know they're just something a little bit different aren't they really quite designer looking you wouldn't be able to buy anything like this in the shops and that's really one of the joys of sewing isn't it be able to being able to create something really unique and you know to realize the vision that we have in the head um yeah they're just amazing fabrics and i know you'll love the quality of them when you get them home so as always everything that i've mentioned in this video so the quilt the 10 quilted fabrics themselves the 10 printed cotton sateens that coordinate the 10 plain dyed cotton sateens again that coordinate and all the patterns we will tag everything below this video so if you head to Minerva um, you'll be able to you know see all the products that are that are mentioned in this video and you know if you click on those you can see um, you know what other people in the community are making with these fabrics you can see you know these patterns made in all sorts of different fabrics as well you know see them made up on different people of all different sizes shapes different sewing abilities and you know it can just really help you kind of choose you know um, you know what you want to sew next in your sewing journey so yeah all that information will be tagged below do please let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you are you excited by this new fabric collection what would you make which print would you choose which is your favorite how would you imagine using those coordinating fabrics with it I'd love to hear from you and you know just hearing your ideas and seeing the things that you make it gives us so much joy and it inspires us at Minerva as well um, so yeah please do leave your comments and um, yeah I'll, I'll look forward to seeing what your guys favourites is um, so yeah thank you very much for watching I'll be back again soon with another video filled with fabric and sewing goodness and until then hope you love the new fabrics